Xstate is really good at wrangling logic in complex forms. Here we've got a username field where we're checking live if the username has already been taken. For instance, if we add David, then we make an async check to see if the username is taken, except there's some like complicated logic here. There's like a little window where I can submit even though it's still validating which means that really this validation on the client side doesn't work and we're gonna get unexpected errors. I think it's time for a state machine. Okay, let's build this bad boy from scratch and see what we get to. We start in the kind of empty state as in the form doesn't have anything in it, but as soon as the user adds something to it, then we go into the validating phase. And you think of the validating phase as like a period of time where we're checking for the username and seeing if it's valid. The thing about entering the validating phase is that it can happen from any time that we're in the whole machine. So we've got to go from the outside of the machine in like this, and this is gonna be on username changed here. Let me just reposition this so it looks nice. Inside the validating state here, we're going to add an invocation which is gonna be validate username. We now need to add a couple more states where we can say the username is valid or the username is invalid. And now we need to go from the validating state to valid if it is valid. And if we encounter an error, we need to go to the invalid state over here. So the whole point of this state machine now is we can now control when the submit event is allowed to happen. And it's only allowed to happen when we're inside the valid state here. And that means that you can't submit when you're in the empty state, you can't submit when you're in the invalid state, or when you're validating either, only when the form is valid. Let's simulate this and check that it's all working. When we're in the empty state, you can press username changed and you end up in validating. Then when we're done, we can go back to valid here and then we can submit. But even when we're invalid, we can still change the username, go back to validating. When we error, we can change the username again. And even when we change the username here, it's gonna re-enter validating and re-validate with the new value. So I think we're all good. Okay, let's take a look at the code. We've got our use form here, which is coming from React hook form. That's controlling the username field and the default values. We're using watch from React hook form in order to make sure that we have a sort of control on the username. We always know what it is. And we've got our machine down here, which has the validate username service, which kind of relies on this username that we're pulling from this watch here. We validate the username, and if it's not valid, then we throw an error here. We also have a use effect here, which is just letting our machine know when the username changes. This won't happen by default. And this means that you have really fine grained control over when updates happen in Xstate. Finally, down in the error here, we check if we're in the invalid state, and then we throw an error if we are in the invalid state. One more thing is that we're now showing a little validating message on the submit button, which is showing the user that something is happening and you can't quite submit the form yet. Let's check that it all works. We have Matt here, which is validating, and it's come out valid, so I can submit that. But if I now change this to David up here, it's gonna show the error and it's not gonna let me submit. And crucially, in the window where it's validating, it's not gonna let me submit either. So there you go, that's how you can use Xstate to help you build more robust forms to make sure that you're catching all of those little weird states that pop up when you're validating or invalidating. And you notice that we're not doing too much inside Xstate. Most of the stuff is being controlled by React hook form. We're kind of just ensuring that all the states match up and handling the complex async logic. If you want to see more stuff like this, you can subscribe, you can follow us on Twitter, you can do all the fun stuff. We're going to keep posting all the new X-State content that we think of up here. And thank you so much for joining. See you soon.